Hello. Hi, how is everybody tonight? Today is September 11th, 2019. My name is Margie Donaldson and I am a top seller and a bronze leader with Avon. And I am here to give the latest updates uh, within the last week and give some sales tips and some ideas and just generally connect with my entire team. So I wanna welcome anybody in who is out there and ready for the show to start. And we have Carla, hello Carla, how are you? Sorry I'm a few minutes late. I, um, I realized when I pulled up Facebook that Scott Kramer had a show going on within the, um, let me see what the name of that group is, the Social Selling by Avon Social Group. And I was able to catch just the last uh, few minutes of it. So I will definitely go back and uh, watch the rest of that. In fact, while I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna save that video. And then that way I know that I need to get back to that and watch that. Uh, because he is not only the, um, he and his team at, um, now I can't think of, Multibrain, um, they give us a lot of tips just for running our business on a day-by-day -day basis, but also bringing in that social media aspect into it and how to really grow our businesses. So um, definitely worth joining that group and watching those videos and then incorporating the information that you learn about in there. So um, we are in campaign 20. This is the book for campaign. It's up on Tuesday, September 17th. There's no need to wait until then to place your order. Once you have checked with your customers to see if they uh, are ready to order, what you can help them with, what samples they would like to try, uh, what, well, what full size demos they would like to try, that kind of thing, then go ahead and just pull the trigger. Because for any of the products that people are buying, whether it's from the outlet or whether it's a brand new product and there's limited quantity in it. Hello, Nina, how are you? Um, anyway, you want to place those orders early in the campaign instead of waiting until the last day. But in case you do want to wait until the last day, it does wrap up on Tuesday, September 17th. And I always say noon local time just to give yourself some extra wiggle room in there. And I saw that we had a third person on, but I don't see their little note that pops up. So I don't know who that third person is. Um, if you can just, oh, it's Shauna. Hello, Shauna. How are you? All right. So, um, let's go back to campaign 20. 20 is all about the magic wand. I hope you're showing people that product or at least talking about it. If you don't have the real, like the actual product to show, you can just talk about it. And, um, you know, come to the information page here and make sure that you understand what it's saying and start learning those words, that terminology, and then passing that on to customers and asking them if they would like to try it. And then um, this is really kind of cool. Oh, hang on a second. I got a message that popped up here. Um, come on, go away. It doesn't want to go away. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> there we go. It popped up away. Hello, Arlena. How are you? Arlena, when am I ever going to remember that? Um, anyway, on the back page, we have the trial size of the anti-pollution serum. That's on sale for only 99 cents. My suggestion is that you ask your customers if they want to add it to their orders or Maybe reward them, you know, hey, if they place a $25, $30 order, whatever it happens to be, give them a freebie. Why not? It's only 99 cents. All right, so let's talk about a few things that are going on, events, um, events that you can 
do yourself, that type of thing. So first of all, for anybody on the team who happens to have Maggie Bailey as their coach, such as myself, she is going to be making the rounds in her territory uh, with different events. And if you are included in those areas, I have sent out an email, um, an e-card to you to save the date. So for instance, today was, today was the Prescott area. On Friday, Friday the 13th, she is doing a, uh, an event in Spanish at the Round Table Pizza in Las Vegas. And then on the 14th at 11 a.m., she has an event also in Las Vegas for English. Then on the 17th, she will be in Yuma. And there's an 11 a.m. for English, a 1 p.m. for Espanol. And then on Thursday the 19th, she is doing her, her um, presentation in, in Peoria at the Peoria Sports Complex Comfort Suites Hotel. And she's doing two shows. So I imagine what's going to happen is that they're going to be in English and there's probably going to be a Spanish interpreter is my guess, or they're both going to be in English and the Spanish will be the next day at 11 a.m. in the Avondale area. Um, so on Thursday the 19th, it's 11 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. You don't have to be there for both. Pick one, whichever one works best for you. I'm still kind of debating back and forth which one I'm believing that I'll be at the 11 a.m. And, and yeah, that's the end of her, um, her presentations for her September calendar. She is planning on, oh, hair's wigging out there. She's planning on doing these in her territory once a month. So we'll see uh, where they are next month, when, where, all that kind of thing. So, which brings me up to my event. I have scheduled an open house event on Saturday the 21st, I think that is. Let me just pop up the calendar here. Uh, yeah, Saturday the 21st, open house, my house from 2 to 5 p.m. Now, you don't have to be there for the whole thing. Um, come if you want, and if you would like an invitation to that, be sure to send me a message and I can get you my address unless I might have already sent it to you on um, the Facebook invite. Um, but it's going to be an open house. I have tons of product. I um, will have some giveaways, um, just different reasons why you might want to be there. Um, also, speaking about events, Sandy Haremza has been really busy lining up events down in Sarita and Tucson, especially for the holidays. Um, but I think she was saying that she has events like every Monday and Tuesday kind of thing. She um, actually yesterday she did a, an event at the uh, at the assisted living place that she used to work at. And it was an event to raise money for the Alzheimer's Association. And she called me today, which is her birthday. Today is Sandy's birthday. And she was saying that she had um, 30 vendors there. They all had to pay a vendor fee. And between that and sales um, within the event, they actually earned $1,600 to give to the Alzheimer's Association. So congratulations to Sandy. She organized that whole thing. That was her baby. Um, she made some sales for Avon. She um, got some orders, that kind of thing. Um, but this kind of puts you, if you want to um, spearhead anything like that, it kind of puts you into a community-minded um, spirit and others are going to, to recognize that. In fact, she's been trying for months to be able to get on with a, um, 
like at a sports venue to um, to sell bug guard and she has uh, she volunteered she offered that's the right word hi Sherry Carnett how are you um, so anyway Sandy offered to give back a dollar from every every container of bug guard every unit of bug guard that she would sell she's offering that back to the sports team and finally they have said yes and she was saying that there was something else that they find they finally said yes um i think it had to do with the same sports team only it's like a an event that they have anyway she is making great strides just by offering events 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 um you can set up your own personal events whether it's an open house in your house whether you want to just have um you know you have an event in a coffee house and invite people to come out and it doesn't have to be a huge display you can have just a very small display um, if you're a new representative and you want to get the, um, oh gosh, I don't have it in front of me. Um, there's the two different bundles of products that people can buy within your first six uh, campaigns, $25 and $50, I'm, I'm pretty sure they are. You can get those and have those at your events. Um, so what other kinds of events? You, you could ask a friend if they would be willing to uh, to be a hostess for you at their home, like their friends and, um, and relatives and things like that, just like a home party. I mean, it really is a home party. And then from there, you're going to make connections, you're gonna make customers, you can, you can offer an incentive to, you know, if someone else from that home party wants to have their own home party, et cetera, et cetera. So events really help to um, to expand your your reach for customers and get added sales. So anyway, just a couple of ideas out there. Um, another event that you can do if you follow Milagros Garcia and her oh her Facebook group is called something and I'm not thinking of it right now. Um, but if you follow her she's always just she pulls up she's in florida so she pulls up in a parking lot pops up in the trunk and makes an event right then and there and she's got signs and she's got videos explaining how to do all of this but you can do that you can also do parking lot prospecting where you drive into a parking lot and you can just start walking up and down the aisles you can drive up and down the aisles with your window open and offering books to people there. Um, books and, you know, even products. You can just ask if they need any bug guard, if they need any sun, uh, skin so soft, you know, what, whatever, whatever they might need. You can offer that to them. So these are just different ideas to get us out the door, to get us connecting with the public. Um, I'm sure that the um, uh, the show that Scott did tonight touched on that because he was talking about events right when I tuned in. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go back and, and watch the rest of that one. So let's see what else did I want to touch on because I think I just rolled all of my notes into one little concise statement there. Um, what's working out? For all of you, let me hear from you and, and give me some comments and um, let's see what we can do to share ideas. That's kind of what um, part of why I do these live events is so I can get the, the feedback from everybody as well. Um, another thing, if you are local and you want to join our Wednesday, once a month Wednesday night get together at Village Inn. That is tonight. It's at Third Street and Bell, Village Inn, 630. So I hope if you're local that you can come to that. I'm pretty sure Lena said she's gonna be there. Um, 
And I'm not thinking that Sherry is able to attend tonight. So anyway, um, all right, what else can we talk about? Um, well, we can talk about when you are prospecting for new customers, you also want to ask them if they would like to sell. And it doesn't even have to be when you're prospecting for a new customer. If you happen to get a new customer, um, they call you, you, you know, you're on the phone with them or even in person, they're giving you their order. You can ask them if they would like to get a uh, discount on their order just by becoming an Avon representative. You know, tell them that we're always looking for new representatives. We've got the holidays coming and um, see if they, you, you never know. Um, Sandy was, again, told me a story about that this morning, how she got one of her representatives. No, it was Dorothy, Dorothy under Sandy who said that uh, she was visiting with a new customer and she asked her, hey, do you want to sell Avon? And she's like, yeah, you know, I, I used to sell it years ago. I think I'll come back. So you just never know when that's going to happen. Um, so anyway, you want to always keep in mind looking for new customers, looking for new events. How are you going to get your products out there? and um, looking for new recruits because anybody can can start a team if you haven't already set, uh, started a team you can definitely start a team there's no cost to you um, and then when you start a team you put one person on they place at least 150 dollars first or second time order you get a um what is it called it's um, it's not a referral bonus. You get a, it's not the sponsor bonus. I think it's called, is it the mentor bonus? Maybe it's some, some bonus. <laughs> they have names for everything and I, it's so hard to remember them all. Um, anyway, you get a $20 bonus. Now, if you are a new representative like Carla and you're within your first seven campaigns, that $20 check turns into a $50 check. So just imagine how many new representatives you can bring on in your first seven campaigns. Every single one that places at least that $150 first or second time order um, and pays for it on time, you will get a check for 50 bucks. And then you get sponsor bonuses and generational bonuses after that, and it just goes on and on. So why not start a team? There's, there's really no risk involved in it, and I'm here to hold your hand and help you through it. Um, and sometimes it's just a matter of nurturing. Remember, nurturing that baby, it's nurturing that new representative, how you would want to be um, treated within your first, you know, well, forever with your business. So that's what we're here for is to be that mentor role for them. And I hope I am for you too. And on that note, if there's anything that I can do to help you, you know, you can always pick up the phone, call me, text me, email me. I'm here for you. Um, on Maggie's calendar, she also put down a challenge and it's a five by five strategy which is a strategy that I've heard about uh, for the past couple of years. And what it is is that five days a week, five times a day, you send to five contacts. So let's see, no, five days a week, send this to five contacts. Your online store link, which, you. Um, I'm hoping that you can, Carla says I'm always texting you. No problem. I love it. I love communicating with people. Bring it on. Um, anyway, so the five by five strategy is you send to five contacts your online store link and you ask them to share your link with five of their personal contacts. So each day you're going to pick a different contact and you're going to send out your online store address and ask them to 
shared that with five of their contacts. Um, and then remember to follow up, just follow up with them and ask them, hey, were you able to do, do that? Sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry. I had a doctor's office, um, doctor's appointment this afternoon and I think it made me very, very sleepy. I will be having iced tea for my dinner or with my dinner tonight. Right now I'm just drinking Sprite. All right, so if you don't know how to send your online store link to somebody, it's very simple. All you do is you go to your website. So in my case, it's, if I can spell right, still not spelling right, fun.com forward slash Margie Donaldson. And then from there, I'm going to click on the book. That's what it's called. The tab is called the book. And then right there in the address bar at the very, very, very tippy top, it has the, um, the address. So now I'm gonna type that on my laptop so y'all can see that. So it's Type this all out correctly, it should pop up here. Yep, there it is. So the same thing would work for you. So the beginning part of it, even though we put in yorivon.com forward slash Margie Donaldson, it kind of gets like switched around like this internally there. Um, so you'll see that it's actually avon.com forward slash brochure question mark rep equals Margie Donaldson. It's just easier to say to your customers, go to yoravon.com forward slash Margie Donaldson or just send them the link. Cut, paste the link. So, um, and it's the same link all the time. The link itself redirects to a new campaign every two weeks. But you yourself, you don't have to remember, oh yeah, was there a campaign 20 in there? Or what, what do I do with that? Nope, it's the same static link and it'll lead them right to your, your website. And then from there, they'll see the full brochure. They'll see the outlet. They'll see a flyer and let's see, a couple flyers. That's what it's showing for campaign 20. So um, that's, that's very cool. You can do the five by five strategy and then just share back. And you can do this on, on Facebook as well, but it's really designed for texting. Just send it off to people and see what kind of follow-up you get from that. So um, I don't have any new products to share this time. It's the same products from last time. I will be bringing them tonight to Village Inn so people can actually see, see, smell, touch them um, up, up for reals, you know, up close and personal. My order did just come today. I was really shocked because usually when I place it on a Thursday, I a Thursday night, I don't get it till the following Thursday, but I actually got well, I got two of the three boxes. The third box is my other box of brochures, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, but anyway, I don't really, I don't think I got any demos this time. Speaking of demos, this is the Tim Brown tip. So you have a new product, you want to share it with people. You don't necessarily just have to get samples. You can take the full size product. I, the only full size product I have is what I use for my hand cream, the Smitten with Roses body lotion. You can take it and take it around with you. Not this one because this is from Valentine's Day. But anyway, you can do this type of thing with them. 
or let them rub it in themselves. This lets them feel the consistency of, the, the, in this case, the body lotion. They can smell it. Oh my gosh, I love that scent. I love Rose's scent. Um, and anyway, it's going to cost you your demo cost to do that. But for every sale that you make off of that, you're getting that back, sometimes tenfold. Um, so you can do that with fragrance. You can do that with skincare. You can do that with body lotions. Even the moisture therapy, which is unscented, they can feel what it feels like. So, um, so doing full size uh, demos is a good good idea. The new Live Out Loud fragrance, which I do have samples over there. I have not um, started because I placed my order for campaign twenty. Now I'm working on twenty one. So I haven't been back out with my customers since then, but I will be. And when I go back out, I'm going to have the Live Out Loud with me. Um, the A boxes, any of the jewelry that happened to come. So um, put together a basket, put the demos in there. Remember which is a demo or which isn't, which I would recommend just getting rid of the box. And then that's your, your clue that that's a demo. And, um, and just showing them how it works. You can even do that with new lipsticks, um, the new Mattitude lip gloss. You can um, you know, show the different colors on the back of their hands and make sure that you keep set aside that that's a tester that does not go on your lips because it's been on the back of people's hands. So um, that is a way to get your existing customers buying your products. And then you can take the different products into stores, offices, uh, the parking lot prospecting, the uh, tailgating, pull up somewhere, pop open your trunk kind of thing. You want to do that in a um, kind of a busy area where people can see what you're doing. Um, there's just different ideas on how to find those new customers and service those new customers. Um, speaking of servicing new customers or servicing your customers, you want to make sure that you have the, the newest brochures either sent out to your customers in digital format such as through the texting or online, email, um, Facebook, that kind of thing with that static link that I was talking about. Or make sure that your customers have the actual hard copy. If you go a couple of campaigns without making an order, well, that means that you've just missed out on getting the brochures for those couple of campaigns. And if you are going to run your business with any kind of earnings in mind, you definitely want to stay consistent with your business, grow your business, grow your team. These things all work together. Putting the orders in every campaign um, and having those the, um, the new materials available for your customers to shop from. And don't forget that we have the Welcome 10. 10% off code for any new customers. Um, if they have placed an order before, but they've never used that code, they're still able to use that code. So it doesn't have to be their very first order. It just has to be the very first time that they use that code. It's a one time only code. Um, but offer up that, uh, that code so that people know that they can get a discount, makes them want to go to your website even the more. So I hope all of this makes sense, helps you along with your business, helps you grow your business, and you know that you are more than welcome to call me, text me, email me anytime. If there's anything that I can do for you, I am here for you. So with that, I am going to get going so I can get myself ready for my Village Inn dinner tonight. And I will see whoever I see there, and I'll be very excited to see anybody that I that I um, see there because it's just 
this is a social business and it's just fun to get together with people. So, all right, with that, I wish you a good evening and I will catch you, let me see, let me see. What's next Wednesday? Next Wednesday, the 18th. Yes, I will be here. So tune in next week. I'll see you then. Bye, guys.